Just a few hours ago, the National Transit and Safety Board released this report here. It's their preliminary report on what they think happened here along I-40 back in August. Even though it's just preliminary, it does shed some light on what unfolded that day. It's a frightening scene. A semi truck carrying produce crashes with the Greyhound bus. Speaking to the officers when they first got here, it was it was chaos. Since the beginning, first responders had an idea of what caused it. A semi truck was traveling eastbound on I-40 in the eastbound lane of traffic. It blew out a tire, crossed over into the westbound lane of traffic. Thursday, the NTSB confirming their preliminary investigation shows the front left tire of the semi truck experienced sudden air loss causing this wreck. According to NTSB investigators, when that tractor trailer lost pressure in its tire, the semi and trailer separated. So take a look at your screen. You can see it from this photo where they both ended up. You can see the front end of the semi truck right here and the trailer all the way on the side here. We're told that the front of that semi crossed the median right through the middle, hitting this Greyhound bus head on. My face eats the seat in front of me. I sit back. See the body fly over me and it just looked like an A bomb went off. Newly released photos show just how scary this crash was. Tonight we have learned that alcohol nor drugs played a factor in this crash and no mechanical defects were found in the semi or in the bus. I saw several dead bodies. I had to crawl over uh, two of them to get to two severely injured people. In total, eight people died. Almost 40 others were injured and one pregnant woman on that bus prematurely went into labor. She gave birth to twins, but one died shortly after. But this investigation is far from over. Right now, NTSB is looking at maintenance records of both vehicles if passengers were wearing their seatbelts on that bus, and it plans to also look at driver records for both drivers as well as driver logs and onboard recorders. I'm Sasha Lenninger, KOAT Action 7 News.